Batman has perhaps the best rogues gallery in all of the DC universe and I'm convinced that Batman Part 2 is planning to use a group of villains no movie has before. The Batman introduced an established world of DC villains including Joker and Penguin and it seems that the cast of the Batman Part 2 intends to make the world even bigger. The film will likely introduce multiple established villains to the world and I believe Matt Reeves intends to focus on a group less explored in cinema. Please don't! <laughs> With so many villains to choose from, it's inevitable that the Batman Part 2's villain choice will disappoint some. Some have theorised that villains ranging from Mr Freeze to Hush could be the film's primary antagonist. However, looking into the makeup of the universe and how theatricality has been combined with real-world crime-focused stakes, there appears to be a more recent group of villains who would be the perfect foe for Batman to face in the upcoming film. Recent comments from Reeves have only made this even more likely. New comments about Batman Part 2 have convinced me that the sequel plans to use the Court of Owls. Deadline reported comments from director Matt Reeves to SFX magazine where Reeves explained that the Batman Part 2 is going to dig into the epic story about deeper corruption and it goes into places that he couldn't anticipate in the first one. This expansion of the crime saga element points directly to the Court of Owls. This secret cabal would follow on from the setup in the first film and would expand the scope and size of the saga. Good choice. Reeves also commented on the relationship of the sequel to the first film, saying, The seeds of where this goes are all in the first movie, and it expands in a way that will show you aspects of the character you never got to see. Tracing the plot of the Batman and its details that relate to conspiracy in Gotham City makes sense to expand upon in the sequel with The Court of Owls. The group feel like a natural progression from the first film and the stakes of crime in Gotham City. The Court of Owls was introduced to DC Comics in 2012 and has become more popular ever since. They appeared in TV series like Gotham and Gotham Knights and have served as an excellent theatrical foe that works well with some of Batman's darker and more grounded elements. The group is a secret cabal of some of Gotham's most wealthy and influential people. They are considered by many to be an urban legend that pulls the strings behind the scenes to shape Gotham. Hundreds of years old, the Court of Owls is an overarching threat that is responsible for much of the corruption in Gotham City. This comes out of the group's desire to hold on to power. Made up of esteemed family members from throughout Gotham's history, the Court of Owls also employs many assassins known as Talons. The brutal work of these assassins helps to keep the shadowy organisation unknown to the bulk of Gotham's residents. These Talons are violent, well-connected and effective. Let us stop this mindless violence! The relationship between Bruce Wayne's parents and Gotham City was explored in The Batman and could be used to help set up the Court of Owls in the sequel. Specifically, a character named Lincoln March would make sense to be involved here. The first film spoke a great deal about the Waynes and their relationship with organised crime as well as Martha's history of mental health. The Court of Owls in the comics, meanwhile, tells a story that involves Martha having a stillborn baby. March later claims to be that baby, making him Bruce Wayne's brother. Martha's mental health conditions during this period in the Batman could have been influenced by her problems with bearing children. Given her history of difficulty in bearing children and the emotional turmoil that a stillbirth would play upon her would make sense with the trajectory of this sequel. Following this, I believe that Lincoln March, who is not confirmed to actually be Bruce Wayne's brother but claims to be, would be an excellent and logical path forward with what has already been set up in the universe. While there are arguments that the Court of Owls are unlikely to appear in the Batman Part 2, the fact is that the group fits in perfectly with the story already told in Matt Reeves' crime saga. 
much of the groundwork has already been laid concerning corruption in Gotham City and having the Batman face a group of powerful villains with significant ties to the city would make sense. Institutional power and its corrupting elements were a major theme of the Batman and I'm sure this will be explored further with the Court of Owls in the Batman Part 2. 